Hello everyone, Janasa here with Action VFX. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I did this time freeze VFX shot in Adobe After Effects. Along the way, we will learn some quick tips on how to get good camera tracking data, how to turn out 2D assets to look 3D, as well as how to use collapse transformation switch in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have my plate here from filmpack.com. Next, I'm going to need my VFX elements. I'm going to use several action VFX stock footage collections, such as muzzle flash, atmospheric fog, gun smoke, smoke plume, air particles, and bullet shells. All of these you can purchase on actionvfx.com. Once you have your plate, of course you want to track it using the 3D camera tracker in After Effects. And after that, you want to create camera and you want to pick one of these tracker points and use them to place in our assets in 3D space. Now, sometimes your 3D camera tracking doesn't have the result that you want. Maybe it does not track correctly or doesn't give you the tracking points that you need. After Effects camera tracking works by analyzing the pixels of your entire shot. So if you're not getting a good track, you can help After Effects by add in more color information into the shot. You can do this by pre-comping and color correcting your shot beforehand and then disable the color correction after you finish tracking. You can also play around with all the scene type settings here until you get the best result for the track. Auto detection usually works most of the time, but for this one specific shot, I found using typical gave me the best result. Once you have your scene tracked, you want to pick one of the points here and create null. So pick one that is close to where you want your elements to be. For example, this point here because I want my muscle flash to be around that area. And then you want to bring in your element, turn them into 3D layer, and copy the position of the nodes that we selected into the elements. Now you see them getting in place and you want to start adjusting them to fit the scene. Since our layer is a 2D card in a 3D space, make sure to always rotate them to face the camera to maintain the illusion that it is not a 2D layer. Now for stuff like the muzzle flash, I want them to look volumetric and have parallax or depth. So we need to make this 2D layer look less 2D-dimensional. Thankfully, Action VFX provides the muzzle flash elements in four different angles. Side, angled, off-center, and front. So then we can use some, if not all of those angles, and then post them in 3D somewhat perpendicular to each other. That way, it would look like the muzzle flash has length, height, and depth. However, when you do this, you would sometimes see the 3D cards intersections with each other. We can fix that by masking out the area where they are intersecting and then feather it. On the other hand, for elements such as the air particles here, I can tilt it slightly away from the camera and it would still look great. And tilting it away from the camera actually created more depth into the elements. Once you have all your elements in your shot, the last thing you want to do is add color correction, effects, and other adjustments. And that would be much, much easier to do if you can group the 3D layers as objects. Or like for example, I want my muzzle flash layers here grouped into just one muzzle flash object. That way I could color correct it or move them around as one group. You could of course do this by pre-comp them together. But after you pre-comp, you would find that 3D elements is removed from its place. This is because the pre-comp has erased the 3D position data of the layers inside it. So how can we fix it? Well, it is super easy. You can just go click the toggle switch and then next to the composition, you want to click this box called collapse transformation. So now the pre comp would inherit all the 3D position data from the elements inside it and it would go back to its place. And then you can start adding color corrections and effects. Another thing you can do with the collapse transformation still checked on is to turn the pre-comp into a 3D layer. So now we would have the 3D elements back inside the comps and they are all grouped into one object. So now we can move them around together in 3D space. However, you might have a problem with the anchor point being far away. So you can move the anchor point back to its place or we can use the 3D node that we had earlier and use that as a parent to our 3D pre-comp. So now you can do rotations or scale from the node. And that was it for the quick tips. 
If you want to purchase the assets that I used for this shot, you can check out on the description below or if you want to look for more assets, you can go to actionvfx.com. Action VFX provides high quality assets for your VFX needs, from fire, explosions, energy, to people, and many, many others. We also have free assets that you can download right now on the website. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.